Ever wonder what goes into planning an art exhibition? Who plans where the art goes? And who does the installation? I sat down with one of the Esker Foundation's art curators, and we chatted about what goes into a gallery. Uh, my name is Shauna Thompson. I am one of the curators here at Esker Foundation. So we usually work with the artists to develop a list of works to bring in, and then as you might see behind me on the wall, I do have a to scale floor plan of the art gallery. Um, so we tend to make little, um, you know, to scale maquettes of the artwork in the exhibition. This gallery has separated sections with each part of the space hosting different types of art. And we kind of figure out where those things might live in the gallery. Sometimes it's determined by what the work actually is. So, for example, if you're showing something like historical prints or photographs, you often have to be really mindful of how much light exposure those works are getting. So that might determine where in the gallery um, those works are shown. So, so there's sometimes environmental factors that determine that. Um, sometimes we're thinking about the flow through the gallery space, so how people enter and how they kind of circulate through the artwork. Um, that might determine where things go. Um, but most of the time it's really thinking about what the artwork is and how it's best served in the spaces that we have. From prints to huge wooden figures and striking collages with interactive video in tandem with organic melting sculptures. Um, but yeah, it's a curator's job to do the layout of the exhibition. Of course, we're always working in tandem with the artist and we're working really closely with our head um, preparator who is the person who really manages the actual physical installing of the work, the hanging of the paintings, um, building, uh, setting up projectors, that kind of thing. So, you know, if we have an idea or a particular kind of work that's coming in, um, often having a conversation about like, does this make sense? Is there a better way to do this? Um, kind of happens in the process. Currently, the gallery has three exhibitions. Robin Arsenault, Falling Off the Log, Chloe Lum and Yannick de Rossolo, The Garden of a Former House Turned Museum, and Gayla Nagan, From the Studio Floor. You're usually working ahead about two to three years in terms of planning exhibitions. We do three exhibitions a year, so we spend a lot of time kind of prepping for those shows kind of coming up. There's three curators who work here at Esker Foundation. And so what we really do, our process is really research-based. We have frequent meetings. We come together to talk about artists or things that we've seen in the world, um, artwork that we find interesting, ideas that we find interesting. Um, and then once we kind of come up with an idea of what we might like to show, usually one of us or a couple of us will work together on a, an exhibition. Um, you know, you start talking to the artist. Usually they come out for a site visit to see the space. Um, a lot of it is really about relationship building and, you know, getting to know one another and deciding, you know, whether the artist wants to work with us and whether we want to work with the artist. The foundation also has a workshop area for activities for all ages. This space also functions as a creative space for new artists to work on their pieces. We take the giant shipping elevator down to the basement of the building, where the Esker Foundation stores its wares. Down below holds many boxes of supplies, tables, and chairs, including other bits and pieces that keep the gallery functional. The gallery also has a bookshop, so patrons can buy art books from the past and current exhibitions. They can also buy merchandise to support the gallery. Um, and then we start kind of getting into the more uh, kind of details about the exhibition, what kinds of work we want to show, what the work needs in order to be shown. Um, are we commissioning new work? Uh, are, like what would the kind of resources and money and you know, time involved uh, look like for that? Um, so it's kind of like a long, usually fairly drawn out process of figuring out, you know, what is an exhibition going to look like? How do, how do we best support that? And um, how do we present that to the public? So also bringing artists in to talk to our programming team um, to kind of figure out how to sort of activate the exhibition and help people kind of access the ideas in the work um, and in the shows. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a long, detailed process, but very much about research and relationship building. I sat down with Aretole Adipe, the gallery assistant and bookstore manager here at Esker. My name is Tola Adedipe, and I am the gallery assistant and bookshop manager here at the Esker Foundation. Well, I have two parts of my job. So the gallery assistant part is just 
sitting at the front desk, um, dealing with the, um, just like, you know, the visitors that come into the gallery, answer questions about the exhibitions, um, security, that's another huge part of it. I do security checks, um, make sure all the emergency doors are working, um, also making sure that the state of the art is also, you know, still, you know, in good shape. And yeah, so that's the, the gallery assistant part. And then the bookshop manager part is just exactly as it sounds. Um, I manage the gallery's bookshop, which has like our um, artist design totes, uh, pins, and uh, the publications. So the artist publications, our in-house publications, and then also publications that may have been um, published by other art galleries, and then we just house it um, here in the gallery. We also do novels that were, that could have been written by the artist as well. So we have a huge range of things from publications to totes to pins to novels and vinyl. So yeah, so, and part of my job at the front desk is to, you know, do those sales and also do sales reports for the end of each month. The Esker Foundation has new exhibitions coming up this January from Margot Williamson's Interiors and Ragnar Kajartensen's The Visitors. For the Calgary Journal, I'm Mofa Adenarin.